this video finds you well, and I hope that the month of February was wonderful for you. Um, it was a great <laughs> month on my end. Uh, I saw a lot of growth in the channel. We are at like 1,506 members today. Um, that is overwhelming to me because I was looking at my last video and it says like posted two months ago. So in two months, we are over 1,500 subscribers. Um, I set out on this journey thinking that um, I would be giving stuff to you and giving content to you. Um, but in actuality, I believe that I've gotten way more back from all of you. Um, and it has been the pleasure of my life to share my life with you and the community we're building and how you guys are feeling about the channel just makes me want to do it more. So um, I am so excited about February favorites because you know at the end of the video, this is going to one of you. Um, it's kind of bittersweet because I wish I had 1,500 of these to give to all of you because I think you are the most amazing subscribers anyone could ever ask for and um, you're not subscribers, you're friends and I love the community we're building and it is um, just one little token but I am planning on doing giveaways for every 1,000 so we're already almost at uh, the next giveaway um, just because I want to give back. You guys know that this channel is about kindness and being good to yourself and being good to others so I think I need to walk that walk and I just want to give back to you guys as much as I possibly can. So with that, we are going to be diving in to my February favorites and I kept a variety of things um, like you guys asked for. So I have some tech, I have skincare, I have fragrances, I have books, I have some planner stuff, um, fashion and lifestyle and home decor trends that I'm really loving. So uh, let's dive into the favorites. But first, if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like planning and organization, lifestyle, luxury reviews, skincare, home decor, basically if you like anything, you will find something on this channel to love. So please click subscribe down below and support the channel. We are having a lot of fun. And if you're not already, Follow me on Instagram. I will leave my handle down here below um, and I look forward to uh, meeting up with you there as well. So um, without further ado, let's jump into these favorites because I cannot wait to share them with you. And obviously one of my favorite favorites is that giveaway at the end. So let's get going. The skincare product that I've absolutely been loving this month is the By Terry Cellurose Brightening CC Serum. You know this isn't the first time I've talked about this. It is truly one of my favorite things on the planet, so I feel like I have to mention it again. And if there is one skincare thing that I use every single day, it is this one. Um, I also just got my second in the mail because I'm almost out and I can't go a day without it. Now, you should know that this CC Serum is outstanding for just brightening your face, giving your skin a little bit of a tint and glow and radiance, and it really reflects light really well. If you're looking for coverage, this isn't the way to go. This isn't makeup, it is definitely skincare, um, but it is just a wonderful, wonderful product. It was recommended to me several months ago by Lydia Lise Millen's channel. I'll leave her link down below. She is absolutely phenomenal. I am obsessed with everything she does, um, but it is just a wonderful product, and it comes in a couple different shades. I use Apricot Glow. It is the one that matches my skin tone the best, and I love it, and there's not a day that goes by that I do not use it. The next skincare product I want to talk to you about, I did do a review on it in my Herbivore uh, product review video. I'll leave that link down below because Herbivore has truly become one of my top brands. Um, of all time. I absolutely love every product that I use from them. Um, and this is actually my second container now of the Herbivore Pink Clay Mask. This is an awesome pink clay mask and it has crushed rose petals in and pink clay. Now I will say this mask comes in a powder form. So you mix one part pink clay powder, one part water, you stir till you get a mask, you put it on, you let it dry. What's really nice is it is a gentle exfoliating mask, so as you rinse it off, you get a lot of exfoliating happening, but it's super gentle because my skin is pretty sensitive, and it goes a long way. I got several uses out of it. I just mix it up in a little dish next to my sink, 
and it has truly like helped even out my skin tone. My skin looks fresher and smoother. It has really helped with texture. So I highly recommend this mask. I really, really, really love it. And once again, that is the Herbivore Pink Clay Mask. Check it out. While we are talking about Herbivore, I cannot not talk about this. And this wasn't in my review video because I was waiting for it to be delivered. And it is the Herbivore Sea Mist coconut and sea salt beach wave hair mist. Now, if any of you are like me, for me to style my hair in any way possible, I have to get texture in it. So this sea salt spray, I was like, uh, I've been using Bumble and Bumble's uh, beach foam, and then I also use their sea salt spray, and I was nervous, like a, bit, like a very organic brand, if it would give me enough texture for my hair, and it does. It really, really does, and I absolutely love it. What I love about it is there's like really no scent to it, and I would say the only light scent you get literally smells like you're at the beach, um, and you get like a little bit of coconut, but it's really light, whereas a lot of the other like foam texturizing sprays, they have like a very chemical smell, um, and this is really light, so I have found that it's so much easier to manage and move my hair around as I'm styling it because yes, it gave it texture, but it doesn't make it so firm that you can't like mess with it. I have found that when I use the foam spray, like pretty much where it dries after I put the foam spray in, no matter what product I'm putting in afterwards, my hair is pretty much where it's going to be because the foam sea salt sprays are really, really heavy. This is super light, so I still feel like I can move my hair around. And then there are some days where I don't wanna add any extra products to my hair. I just spray this, blow dry it, mess it up, and it gives it like a really nice beachy look where it kind of chunks, but it still looks really clean. Um, yeah, I really, really love this stuff. Um, and you will too, I promise. Um, so, my last beauty skincare fragrance favorite is something you've heard me talk about a lot, and it is the Myrrh and Tonka perfume. It is the best fragrance. I have been wearing it religiously, and I love it. Um, what's really interesting about it is I love myrrh. That is one of my favorite smells. If you watch this channel, you know that the Diptyque Myrrh Candle is one of my favorite candles of all time. That and the SJP Candle, which totally surprised me. But this is really awesome. So on the top note of this fragrance is lavender, which I love lavender because it's very relaxing, very calming. But then in the middle of this smell, and I think you get it a lot more after the dry down, is myrrh, tonka bean, vanilla and it gives it like a really nice balance of warmth and let a, yet a little bit of sweet. And then that lavender kind of just lays on the bottom after the dry down and you just get a hint of it. It's just a really nice balance of all the things that I love, lavender, vanilla, and then myrrh. I just love that mix. I'd also say, and I haven't read enough reviews on this, I'd also say that there's a little bit of an almond scent to it after the dry down as well. Um, so it just has a very nice balance of warmth and spice and sweetness and floral. Um, it's just the perfect fragrance. And I think it's a fragrance that will translate through different seasons because it has such a mix and good balance of so many smells. So that is my review on Marin Tonka. I love it. Now that we've talked about skincare and beauty, I do want to dive into some of my favorite books that I have been loving in February. As you all know, I am an avid reader, and yes, I have heard you. A lot of you are asking me to do a like book review of like all-time favorite books, and I'm working on that, but because I love books so much, it's really hard. What I'm going to do is go through different genres of books and tell you like kind of my top three favorites and why. Um, within that genre. So that is probably coming within the next two to three weeks, so be looking out for it. So the first one is something that I had been wanting to do for a really long time and I just couldn't find the right one for me. So I was looking for a devotional and I wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be something I could really commit to every day that didn't res uh, involve a lot, a lot of time of reading. And I found, it's called The Simple Pursuit, A Heart After Jesus. And it has become a devotional that I love. Every day is just one short page. And the writing is by Chris Tomlin, David Crowder, and Matt Redman. 
The writing is so good and the Bible verse ties to the writing so strongly that I find that I'm always turning to my Bible. Sorry, that was my phone. I'm always turning back to my Bible to even read more from that scripture. Um, and I'm just really, really loving it. What I also love is that it just goes day by day. It's not like January 1st, 2017. Um, it's just day one and it goes to 365 and I just have really liked this and it's really great and inspiring and inf like I feel like I'm learning so much from it about myself, about the world. If you're looking for a really good devotional, please please check this one out. And also, if you already have a great devotional recommendation, please leave it down below because this one will only last a year and I'm always looking for others. The next book I'm going to talk about is a book that I have mentioned and it's one of my favorites this month and it's My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey. This book is really great because there's like romance and like suspense in it. Lily is a lawyer. She gets married to an artist named Ed who's very like artsy and um, like eclectic and they're like the perfect balance and the greatest relationship. She takes her first case and it's a murder trial and she finds herself like strangely drawn to the murderer um, and she would be willing to end up risking everything she has um, for the murderer that she is defending and working with. And what's interesting is she actually realizes that all the lies in her life are actually tied to her marriage and that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, it's really, really interesting, really a good read. I read this super fast. I think I was done with it within the week that I bought it, and I really, really like it. So check out My Husband's Wife. The last book I have to recommend is by Colson Whitehead, and it is called The Underground Railroad. This is about a slave named Cora who um, escapes and follows the Underground Railroad, and it is truly a journey through time and space. It's super intense. His writing is phenomenal. This actually won the National Book Award. Um, along this journey, Cora kills a young white man um, to save herself. Um, it is twists and turns, and I don't, I'm getting like a little emotional about it because um, this book is just really powerful, and I think everyone should have to read this. Um, yeah just pick it up because it is that good. And I will tell you, Colson Whitehead's writing is absolutely some of the best writing I've ever read. And that is, honest to God, hands down, some of the best writing I've ever read. Underground Railroad, you will feel so bonded with Cora and you will know her so well and you will be so invested in her. It's really just an unbelievable book. So pick it up. So that is it for books, and now I'm going to dive into some of my tech favorites. I sounded like Oprah there for a minute. So. Tech favorites for this month. Um, these were a surprise because I didn't realize that I would end up loving them this much, but they are the Beats Power Beats 2, and they are wireless headphones. I was waiting to buy the iPods, AirPods, um, but then I found these and I love them and they're so comfortable and they stay in your ear and I can run with them and work out with them and jump around with them and they never fall off and the sound is incredible. The battery life is incredible. They come in a bunch of different colors so you can find one that matches your style and they are just really great, really great headphones. And if you have an iPhone 7, I would recommend these because A, you'll be able to listen to your music and you'll still be able to charge your phone because that is one of my biggest irritations with the iPhone 7 because I travel for work all the time and I can't charge my phone and listen to my music at the same time unless I have wireless headphones. I highly recommend these. I absolutely love them. And when I say they stay in, they stay in. Um, A, they have that bridge that goes over your ear so it helps hold it in. Um, but also just the earbuds themselves fit really comfortably and they come with different sizes so you can find the one that fits you the most. I just highly recommend these. I love them. My next tech favorite is hysterical. And if you're following me on Instagram, which you should, I already left my handle once, but I'll leave it again. Um, the next favorite is called the Furbo. Um, this is a Christmas gift that I got for Steven, but I find that I love it just as much. What this is, is a way for all you dog lovers to keep in touch with your dog throughout the day. So this top opens up and you buy little treats and you put them in there 
Um, they sell Furbo treats, but we just found some at PetSmart that work for us. I will leave the ones that we used linked down below. Then it has an HD camera, speaker, and microphone. And what you can do is you can call your dog. Uh, Bubba's now knows the sound of this machine kicking on. And your dog can come up. You can feed him a treat. You can talk to him. And it is just a great way to check in on your dog. I actually filmed some footage from this week that I'm going to insert in the video right about here. So you can see exactly what the footage looks like and it is just a great way and you guys know how much I love Bubba's. So this is just a great way to keep in touch with him. So this is one of my tech favorites for February. The next tech favorite is actually, I guess it's not tech but it goes on your tech device, are two cell phone cases. The first one is the Case Factory. I got lots of questions about this on my Instagram. And the Case Factory is out of Stockholm, Sweden. They get all their leather from the same tanneries as Hermes, Prada, Fendi. Um, and they have a beautiful selection of cases. And then you can opt for them to emboss it with your initials. So I have been loving, loving, loving this case. Um, once again, this was a recommendation from Lydia Elise Millen because she is simply phenomenal. Um, and it's a great case. The other case that I got lots of questions about because you guys saw it on my Instagram is the Louis Vuitton Eclipse iPhone 7 case. I had this for my iPhone 6 in the classic monogram. This is new in the Eclipse and I love it. And I do realize that a portfolio case is not for everyone because it does open up. You can put your cards in here and then your phone is on the other side. What I love about this is I love the little bit of privacy that it gives you. Um, when you are texting or taking a call or checking an Instagram or anything like that. I just love that it gives you some privacy um, because I hate when people start looking over your shoulder. So I really love that aspect of it. The other reason I like this is because my phone gets tossed in my bag so much and I love that I have some screen protection on it. So this case has really truly become a favorite this month. My recommendation to you would be this. When you get this case, there's like a sticker pad that you lay your phone on and it says like you can get 100 sticks to it. Well, if you're like me, you change your case a lot. Buy a clear silicone case or color if you want a color and stick that to the sticker. So then you can take your phone in and out and it doesn't impact the stickiness of um, the, the adhesive that's already supplied on the case. That would be my recommendation with these cases. I love it. Next, we're going to dive into some lifestyle, home decor, fashion, and one planner thing. Because like I always say, you are my people and you know how we freak out about pens. And I found the best pens in the month of February and I must share them. And they are the micro line pens. I got them on Amazon. They are amazing. I will say though, because I need to be honest with you, they do bleed through on some papers, but I have found majority they do not. It's just a risk you have to take, and it just is going to depend on your paper quality if they bleed through or not. The next lifestyle, home decor, fashion thing that I am loving this month of February is this color right here. I am loving the color blush. If you are following me on Instagram, you see it popping up in my house everywhere, um, from pillows to vases. We also picked up this ottoman. It is Mongolian fur. It is in the color blush and has gold legs. We picked this up at West Elm. There are really good photos of it on my Instagram and I am loving it. And this is a really charming background. And lastly, I always share a bag favorite. And if you're following me on Instagram, you know in February that I made a big bag purchase. And I think you'll be surprised to know that that is not my February favorite bag. Um, I think that bag is more symbolism um, of a moment in my life. And yes, I do use it every day for work, but it's not my favorite. My favorite bag for the month of February has been my Burberry Extra Large Nylon Tech Rucksack. This bag is amazing. A, it holds so, so much. I'm sorry, it threw off the lighting there for a minute. 
It has a front pocket, and if you order it from the Burberry site, you can get it monogrammed. Then it has two really large side pockets. What I love then is that these buckles actually are snaps, and it has a really nice drawstring, and it just opens up into a big compartment. There's a spot to slide a laptop, and then there's also a zipper pocket inside. The back is really nicely quilted with really heavy leather padded straps. The quality of this bag is amazing. I wish it was cheaper, um, but it is a really great backpack and backpacks are so on trend right now. Um, and I actually think I'm gonna be switching out and using this for work, shocker, because if you're on my Instagram, you know what bag I have been using for work. So it is time and my true February favorite is giving this to one of you. Um, this channel has been the greatest gift and like I said earlier, if I could give 1,500 of these, I would give one to every single one of you because without you, this doesn't exist and the love and support and community we're building just means the world to me. And yes, I'm giving this to you, but you've given me so much more. It almost pains me that this goes to one of you, but just know that I'm going to find every opportunity under the sun to always give back. And for every 1,000, which we're almost to 2,000, I will be giving something back to you. So I knew I was gonna pick up a small leather good, and I was trying to think of what is one Louis Vuitton small leather good that everybody should start a collection with if they don't own Louis Vuitton, or can have more than one of these in their collection and still be able to use it every single day. The best piece that anyone can have to start a collection or have multiples of in their collection is a Louis Vuitton key pouch or key clay, and it comes with a beautiful chain. So you can keep cards, coins, keys in here. Um, you can also then put your keys on this little loop. So this is something you can hold and touch every day. Let me tell you, I use a six key holder, so I don't use this for that, but I use one in my bag to hold all of my loyalty cards, and I use one to hold earbuds and little charging cables. So you can definitely use these for multiple things. Um, but this is what one of you are getting. And if you watch my vlog from today, I actually filmed exactly how I picked the winner so you know that it was completely random. And I basically got online, generated a number from one to 609 or eight, I can't remember the number exactly of comments, and then started from the first comment that was ever posted and counted up. And I landed on, and I wish I knew your first name, but I landed on Mind, Body, and Soul. No, not and. Mind, Body, Soul. And you are the winner of this clay. And Mind, Body, Soul, you have also commented on so many videos. Um, and yeah, thank you for your support. DM me or I will DM you and we will get this sent to you first class mail expedited yeah. this is going to you i am so excited to give this to you and like i said there's so much more to be given to all of you oh i'm so excited that's done but i'm also so sad um anyway that is my february favorites i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click subscribe and support the channel and I will leave this video like I will leave every video. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.